I'm going to create the layer with the obstacles that my hero is going to be avoiding during this animation. I'm calling the layer Rocks. I'm using the bevel and emboss again to get a cheap 3D type of effect as I draw this. Starting with black, do a little drawing, select, uh, use the Alt key to select a little lighter color and maybe get some actual white in here. It's a little strong. Might back this off a little bit. Try to layer in just a little, little texture on my rock. It looks a little blurry, maybe like motion blur. That could work. I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. Now, because the rocks are scrolling across, and we, it's going to be a cyclic, seamless animation. As this rock goes off the screen, another rock is going to be coming on. So there are going to be two copies of this. But so my hero is going to go over one rock and then under another one. I need to draw a second character, second obstacle. I don't want it to look like the other one, so I'm not going to just copy this one. It's uh, going to be a distinctly different rock, whereas this one is going to look exactly the same as the one that replaces it. All right, so here we have a couple of rocks. Now, and they're on one layer. Looks like the hero will clear this one all right. And then I'll want to have it go down under this rock. But then this one is going to appear again. So I want to make a copy of this. I'm going to go ahead and do the same technique where I hold the shift key, select both layers, merge them together, um, kind of lock in that bevel and emboss. But now I want to duplicate that layer so that uh, I can create an offset. I want to take the initial rock and the background, select them both, and use the move tool to scroll through to the end. And with the snap to layer and document bounds, you see I can perfectly line that up. We now have an image which looks exactly the same as what we had before, or just a screen over. Because this layer of rocks moved, we're now seeing this layer of rocks on screen. If I merge this down to the other rocks, now we have a single layer that has both copies. This is the setup for the animation.